Thank you to Bnei Brit and uh, My Canada and to Imagine With Us uh, Coalition. Dealing with Islam requires understanding this religion and this culture. To begin with, Islam, the name of Islam, usually related to as Salam, means Shalom, peace. However, this is not so correct. The meaning of the name Islam is submission. Submission to the person, the individual, to the orders of Allah, nullifying his own willing and accepting everything which Allah inflicts on him. And this is actually what uh, Islam is. And what I'm talking about individual is also the group, also the society, the state, the world as well. So actually Islam is about submission. How to submit people to the order of Allah and uh, how they all should behave under the order of Allah. Then peace will be on earth. Peace, by the way, in the concept of Islam, is not bet something between states or independent entities like states. It is a situation, a peaceful situation, between communities which live all under the umbrella of Islam. Means peace, according to Islamic view, can occur in the world only when everybody will be Muslim or submitted to Islam uh, even if he stays Jewish, Christian, or others. Uh, Islam looks at Judaism and Christianity as religions which lost their validity, lost their role in history, and lost their message to mankind since Islam came to the world. This is based on a very basic verse of the Quran which states the inna dina inda Allah al-Islam means the religion at Allah's is Islam. Means that they Islamized Allah as well. Um, Jews are those upon whom the wrath of Allah rests. According to the first chapter of the Quran, they are the al maghduba alayhim, those upon whom the wrath of Allah rests. Jews are the Ahfad al Kurda wal Khanazir, means the descendants of uh, apes and swines. A uh, Jews, uh, according to this vision, are those who killed the prophets. Of course, this is something which uh, Islam uh, took from Christianity. Uh, Jews are those who betrayed Allah. Christians as well, because Christians uh, forged and changed the Holy Scriptus uh, uh, in their turn after the Jews, and uh, so forth, many uh, epithets like this uh, of Jews and Christians, and only Muslims are the real mu'minin, means uh, believers. Uh, since Judaism and Christianity lost their validity and their role in history, everything which they had actually Islam can take because it doesn't belong to anything. This is why uh, uh, in Islam, Isaac and Jacob and Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Johannes as well were all Muslims. Solomon, King Solomon, built a mosque on the Temple Mount. No, on Al-Aqsa, not on Temple Mount because there was no temple. So everything is Islamized retrospectively by Islam, because Islam nullifies Judaism and Christianity retrospectively. So this is actually how a real Islam, not radical Islam, normal Islam, looks at the other religions, not to mention Buddhism and Shintoism and Zoroastrism, uh, other religions, which are all viewed as infidelity, idol worshipping, much less than Judaism and Christianity. Uh, Jews and Christians, since they had a book and they still believe in one God, uh, can be tolerated in Islam and can, li can live under the ages of Islam as Ahl Dhimma, means those who live under the auspice of Islam, as long as they accept the hegemony 
of Islam and behave accordingly. But if they try to have some independence or occupy lands like Spain or like Palestine, Eretz Israel, they lose their rights and they're subjected to jihad. Jihad in some places today is depicted as the attempt of a Muslim to be better Muslim. It is correct. It, jihad also is against the Satan who uh, tries to lead the person astray, right? However, jihad is also against the infidels, against the Jews, against the Christians, and against whoever uh, does not go along the uh, uh, right word of Islam. Maybe it can be uh, Shiite as well, and of course she is uh, today subject to jihad by Sunnis, especially Al-Qaeda, um, and, and the Sunnis are the subject to the Shi jihad uh, of Hezbollah and others. So actually jihad is the war which is waged against the enemy, whoever he is, whether it's an infidel or a Jew or a Christian or even a Muslim can be a uh, subject to uh, to jihad. What happened uh, uh, during, during the century is Islam failed in its uh, most important goal to unify the Muslims by pushing aside all the other traditional loyalties, especially to the tribe, to the ethnic uh, group like Kurds, Turks, things like this. And Islam actually did not succeed to become the common denominator of Muslims. This is why we see today like 60 uh, uh, states in the uh, Islamic world, like Malaysia, uh, Indonesia, and other states which do not unite with the others because Islam does not function as the common den denominator for Muslims. Actually, it was never uh, like this because even in the early days of, the, of Islam, since the 7th century, um, it, the, the, the empire, the Islamic empire, uh, got, uh, 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 turned into pieces uh, according to the local uh, tribes and nation, national uh, 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 frameworks. So uh, actually, Islam, I would say, is the biggest failure in the world to become a, a, a common don denominator for people who should have uh, abandoned their uh, loyalties, uh, traditional loyalties, and become one unit or uh, basing on uh, Islam. Until today, they fail. Uh, however, what happened in the last generation is that the mass media uh, infiltrated into the Islamic home, which remained for centuries uh, like a bastion so anything from outside will not get into the uh, uh, home, and especially when it concerns women and their behavior.